In our video, we are going to focus on contract management e-signature integration using signature task. In order to use this feature, first off, you would need to have a contract management subscription with Ariba. You would also need to have a subscription with one of our e-signature providers, such as DocuSign or Adobe Sign. Once you have those subscriptions, they assist you with configuring your realm. There is no integration configuration that you will need to perform as a customer. It is all pre-configured in the realm. It's just a matter of turning it on. Why set up e-signature integration? Mainly it's to drive operational efficiency. There's a few features that actually were really beneficial from an, from an end user standpoint, such as the automated transfer of contracts from the Ariba system to the e-signature tool. And it's also in reverse. Once the signatures have been obtained, the DocuSign or the EchoSign features will compile that into a PDF readable copy and it will all automatically place it on your documents tab. So it eliminates the need to download and upload documents. It also provides the ability to auto snap signature blocks to the correct locations of your contract templates. And it also can import fields from the create screen on your contract into the contract itself. The feature that actually drives this integration is called a signature task. For those who are familiar with workflow management in the contract management modules, you'll know that you have approval tasks, you have review tasks. A signature task is a new feature that's available once you turn this feature on. Um, signature tasks can be linked to a single document or a folder, and the documents can incorporate document properties like I mentioned prior. I'm going to log into the tool and provide a quick overview of a signature task. I am now logged into the contract, and as you can see, it's a technical consulting services agreement. It's already pre-created. Um, in this sample, or in this example, I've created the signature task from the template level. So as an administrator, they can pre-configure the workflow to include the signature task. Some companies I've seen request that their end users create it ad hoc. If I was in one of those scenarios, I could do that by clicking on the Documents tab. And then I can create the signature task off of the document that I want to actually create it off of. So in this case, I would create it off this purchasing agreement and using signature. If I needed to append the Schedule A and Schedule B, I would then create a folder, place those documents in that folder, and then create it off of the folder. I am now in the workflow, and like I mentioned, I pre-created the signature task in the workflow from the template level. So you can see it here. We've, we have it in process, I've withdrawn it, so I'm gonna go back in and show you what it looks like to submit the task. Okay, I'm gonna cl click a new round. I have to pick my e-signature provider, so you can have multiple e-signature providers configured in your site. As you can see here, I have DocuSign. You can also have Adobe as well. I'm gonna select DocuSign. Normally, these would be blank on your first round because I've done this before, it's already preset. These are pooling from business contacts and supplier users. If you notice that those users are not available, you can always create one ad hoc by filling out the required information. As you can see, the name, email address, and title are required. I then am required to type in a message. and then submit. Once I click submit, it invokes the integration between Ariba and your e-signature provider. And in this case, I selected DocuSign. I've highlighted in yellow the document properties. These are fields that were on the create screen in Ariba that automatically carried over based on our configuration. So I've highlighted them yellow just to make them stand out. Normally, they would not be in yellow. The other thing to mention is the signature blocks. So as I scroll down, there are signature blocks that have been pre-created in the site automatically. So the end user does not need to drag and drop. They can just hit send. However, if they wanted to include additional items, they can just drag and drop. They can also incorporate additional signature blocks if needed. To do that, 
um, they would click on back. And then they can click add recipient. They can require it if they're a signer or if they're it's read only. As you can see, I've already created one date field for uh, one of the signatures. And then to switch the signature block, I would select the additional signatory and then use that. So you'll see multiple colors and different users here, and that's how you switch from one to the next. Once I hit send, it's going to send this to both um, me and the supplier at the same time. You can actually set it up to be more chronological as well. It now brought me back into Ariba, and as a reference, it did email out any signature. This was actually one that I've done before, but to save time, I've, I've actually just showed you the, a prior one. By hitting, hitting review document, I log in, I can sign it. Um, the supplier can also sign it. And like I mentioned, this can be in chronological order or in parallel at the same time. Concludes the demo. For more information, contact your customer engagement executive or refer to the help menu under Help Center.